Bookworm Cafe. I've made it. This is show business. Let's move on to the jokes. I think it's interesting that people talk about relationships the same way that they talk about disease. Either way, if you have one, the first thing people want to know is, is it serious? And if it is serious, the reaction is, oh no, we're going to lose him. And that's, that's the way they react to marriage. But I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to get married. It's just, it's too hard to find, like, uh, it's too hard to find your perfect match. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a Democrat, she's a Republican. If you're an outdoor person, she's an indoor person. If you're white, she's 15. <laughs> you, just, you, can't, you can't find that perfect match. It, but what's worse is just is being single. Because, you know, people try to, like, set you up with somebody. I went out on one of these, like, group, you know, a group of people got together. This guy, like, found out I was single or something. The waitress walks up. I haven't even seen the waitress. And he's like, this guy thinks you're hot. He wants to ask you out. Like, he's the fun guy. And he's setting me up with the waitress. And the waitress looks at me like, uh, like I'm the one harassing her, like, shitting me about it. Like, I'm seeing somebody, okay? Like, I had to get rejected because of this guy. So later on, I see a family leaving the restaurant. And I'm like, hey, this guy wants to show you their, your kids the inside of his van. <laughs> Do date or dump? Do you guys play it? Do date or dump? You should. It's a great game. It's where you pick three people randomly and choose which one you would have sex with, which one you would date, and which one you would discard, which one you would dump. You might just choose like Brad Pitt, George Clooney, David Beckham. I don't know why three male names just came to my head. Stop being so inquisitive, audience. But then, then you then you argue about like which one. Which one is the best? Like, oh, you know, Clooney has better dimples, but I think Brad Pitt would be a tiger in the sack. <laughs> Me and my friends, we played this game, like, way, like, entirely too much. So, so much that we, like, we just text each other three names and be like, Barbara Bush, Barbara Streisand, Hannah Barbera. And we... <laughs> it's, it's, until the point they got so convoluted that you, like, didn't even know what you were talking about anymore. They'd be like, Eleanor Roosevelt, the baby from Look Who's Talking, and three quarters of a Mars bar. <laughs> and then you're arguing about which, which one you do. You're like, I'm not doing the Mars bar, okay? There's three quarters of it. I don't know where that thing's been. <laughs> well, I'm not doing a baby. And Eleanor Roosevelt is clearly the best choice for marriage. <laughs> and we bring it full circle to marriage. How do you like that? My girlfriend says, if she married me, she wouldn't take my last name. Joke's on you. I want you to take my first name. That way it will finally make sense when I'm the one screaming it out in the bedroom. It's, I'm, I do it. It's important. I'm great, and I think the neighbors should know. <laughs> well, at least that's what I thought. That's what I thought until, like, one day I'm leaving. Uh, I'm leaving my girlfriend's apartment. You know how sometimes you walk out and the neighbors walk out at the exact same time early in the morning where it's sort of embarrassing? And I walk out, and I twist my ankle as I'm walking out the door. So now I'm limping, and I notice that the neighbor is just staring at me. And it's because I'm limping, and I realize, last night, she just heard my name being yelled out in a man's voice. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this 12-year-old kid is here. <laughs> That's a joke about taking it in the nuts! <laughs> oh, God. I gotta check uh, my liner notes. This means I don't remember what I was gonna talk about next, and it means you guys should mind your own business. <laughs> oh, I was, uh, I was at a movie theater. I don't know if you guys have seen this ad. There's an ad that says, make sure your address is labeled clearly on your home. It could save your life. Important message, except for on the ad, they have a picture of a house on fire. Is the address really still critical when the house is on fire? Like, are the firefighters going to come rushing up? Like, there it is, the house is on fire! Like, Easy, rookie. We can't just go rushing into any burning building. we got to check the address. Hey, you guys, uh, are you guys on Twitter? Use the Twitter. It's, uh, one person. <laughs> you can look me up on twitter.com backslash the Kevin Haas. And, uh, you know, Twitter is like you just, whatever random thought you're having, you just put it out there to the world. So I thought I'd read you guys some of my tweets. Would you like to hear some of my tweets? I think a good time for a spoiler alert is when you're about to be hit by a car that's going in reverse. Spoiler! <laughs> 
books always have that dedication at the beginning. For Karen, my love. For Joe, my guide. Do self-help books have that? For John, get your shit together, man. <laughs> if I had an abstinence support group, the motto would be, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Here's, uh, here's the one I sent out on Easter uh, this past year. Oh no, somebody ate all my peeps. I don't mean the yellow marshmallows, I mean my friends are missing. <laughs> and uh, this is the one I sent out today. I was reading my favorite periodical today, Judge Magazine. <laughs> it's not what you think. It's actually about women's arrests. <laughs> let's, bring, let's bring this thing home. Does anyone here drive a, uh, drive a hybrid car? Don't bother answering. My joke's the same either way. There's an ad out for the new uh, like hybrid car. It's like, the new hybrid battery is so powerful, it can run 57 washing machines at once. Great. But how well does it power one hybrid? Because that's what I'm going to be using it for. I don't buy a hybrid because my laundromat had a blackout. <laughs> what other what other products do you try to advertise the product for something other than its intended use? It's like, hey, buy this shoe. It can hold two cups of blueberries. <laughs> That's all, guys. Thank you.